Hi, I'm Chris. I've been having a problem recently. What most people would consider a habit. I have this friend, Frank, a um, lovely chap really. It's just that he occasionally seems to get me into a lot of trouble. My relationship with Frank started as many habits do. A subtle combination of curiosity and peer pressure. We had a connection with each other like kindred spirits meeting for the first time. It was like we couldn't exist without each other. And things were great, but they got so much better when... I met Karen. Hi. We met last year and things have been going great. Frank even seems to have found a place for himself. Shift up! Thanks, love. Karen didn't mind having Frank around the whole time. She had a couple of friends that knew him too, so it worked out quite well, really. But some people felt that maybe Frank and I were spending a little too much time together. I don't mind Frank's in your face attitude. You know, we're all difficult, we all have our foibles. But recently, we've been receiving complaints about the smell. What smell? I smell like a bed of roses. Who's this clown? What? <sighs> you dirty little rat bag. Oi, come back here! I still haven't been able to get rid of this cough. And Karen's been complaining about Frank leaving his mess everywhere. Frank, for all his talk of financial solvency, really doesn't seem to have a problem spending money. When it's not his. Every now and again, Frank and I stumble upon places that don't allow, in their words, filthy cancer-causing cigarettes. No smoking, what are you talking about? I haven't such a thing to exist. Oi! You're lucky, you're very lucky I can control this guy. Very Quick! Very stop me in his lucky. eyes! After a while, we started having to go to work in men's clubs, but we faced another more frightening enemy than the usual pub patron, the militant smokers. Wait for yeah, smoking bans to come in. You can smoke in oh, that that's is disgusting. A, you can smoke in the gutter with all the other trash. We'll go smoking, smoking in little smoking boxes like they do in Ireland in little pubs. Smoking boxes. Yeah, but I go every night because that's where you're going to be. I just do with all the other. I'd rather sit in a pub where I don't smoke around children and drink. I'm not a liability by not smoking around children. You're just selfish. You have no respect for other people. I'm not selfish. In case you haven't noticed, I pay taxes on these, and that's basically what stops you from. I don't care. I pay taxes on my job anyway. You've had been smoking. You know, smoking's just a luxury for you. Well. All this top prediction got me thinking. People use drugs every day without even blinking an eyelid. And that's all well and good for them. But I've got a responsibility now and 
I've got a mouth to feed and I've got one more to silence. Frank, we need to talk. About what? I've got nothing to say to you, you tarry tit. Come here. Frank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, feel my fire. Over between us. Feel the burn. You can't beat me. You need me, son. What are you doing? <laughs> 